More and more Americans are dealing with stress and mental health challenges, but a recent study shows African Americans are less likely to actually get help. As we wrap up Black History Month, new specialist Ayana Likens explores roadblocks to care and efforts to help in this Healthy Mind Matters report. Brianna Lambert grew up feeling different than her classmates in Utah. I was one of maybe five or six black students at my school. She says that took a toll on her mental health. I struggled a lot, especially with depressive symptoms. Brianna is not alone. A study from NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, found African-American and black adults in the U.S. are more likely than white adults to report persistent symptoms of emotional distress. There also can be a lot of misunderstanding when you look different than everyone else in the room. That is so difficult that a lot of people who have never had that experience don't understand the impact that can, that can have on your mental health. And racism takes a big toll on mental health. We're living in a system that many African-Americans have to negotiate, um, whether it is friendly or it is a hostile environment. It's something Dr. William Smith, chief executive administrator at Huntsman Mental Health Institute, calls racial battle fatigue. It's when people of color suffer from various forms of mental, emotional, and physical strain, which can lead to psychophysiological symptoms. It's a wearing and tearing on our psychology, our emotions, our physiology, and it's, it's a stress overload. But despite the need, only one in three black adults in the United States with mental illness actually receive treatment. Uh, historically, we just haven't been treated fairly in the medical community. Data from the Utah Department of Health shows that the African-American and black community in Utah has some of the highest rates of lacking insurance and living in poverty. And black adults below the poverty line are more than twice as likely to report serious psychological distress than those with more financial security. The people who get the help are those with the resources. Because therapy is expensive. Sitting in front of a psychiatrist is expensive. And when you're deciding between putting food on the table and getting help for your mental illness, food needs to come first. Janetta Williams, president of the NAACP Salt Lake Branch, says perceptions around mental illness can also be a hurdle to care. We have this stigma as well that if I'm going to seek mental health care, then maybe something might be wrong with me and they don't want to let anybody else know that they need to have the treatment. Brianna is hoping to change that. She recently became a therapist and she says less than 1% of mental health professionals in Utah are black. Most of my clients really just come to me because they want to find someone that looks like them. There have been so many times in my life where that's all I needed. It really is an honor to be able to to try my best to fill that role for people as well. For Healthy Mind Matters, Ayanna Likens, KSL 5 News. Ayanna, thank you. Huntsman Mental Health Institute offers counseling services to anyone who needs them. We will post that information on our website. And remember, for immediate help, you can always call 988.